What's going on everybody? Today's video, we're gonna work on a ballast mounting solution for this car. Now the reason I need to make some sort of ballast mounting solution is because in these boxes, right here, As you can see, a nice fresh Hoosier tire. So I'm finally making the swap to Hoosiers. You know, I know a Hoosier is a faster tire. The way ST2 works, I'm sorry, ST3, well actually ST2 as well, but anyways, is if you run a Hoosier, you either have to add weight um, or detune the car. Adjusting weight's a lot easier for me, so that's what I'm gonna do. But where we're gonna put it is kind of a unique solution. I did all the math and I need to add about 250 pounds to the car, which is right about what the rule limit allows. But the other thing I'm gonna do is a flat floor under it. And I made myself one of our modular diffusers that will mount to it as well. The floor, I'm gonna make out a three quarter inch plywood, purposely, <laughs> just obviously to add weight as low as you can in the car. The diffuser, the mounting, uh, what else? Oh, I did do a fire system. I didn't do a video on that. Um, that maybe added 10 pounds or so. I might only need to do, when it's all said and done, 150 pounds of ballast. So yeah, enough chat. I'll show you the game plan. All right, so if we hop under the car here, you can see that we have a cavity right here and right here on both sides of the drive shaft. Now that is where the factory mufflers used to go. So there's a big volume right here. I could put some bricks. You can see the frame rail, which, you know, the, the subframe bolts to and our subframe connectors on both sides gives us like, you know, a real solid mounting point to hold the weight. So I'm gonna run some sort of like cross beam that allows me to just put lead bricks up and in there and bolt them down to it, you know, as I need to make the weight work. So that's my initial plan right now. Um, you know, if I have to add weight to the car, I might as well do it in a way that's advantageous, or maybe not advantageous, but you know, um, the least detrimental way possible will be very low in the car and kind of rearward. Mustangs are definitely very nose heavy. So throwing that weight really low towards the rear of the car is, you know, kind of kind of the best solution. All right, so I already messed up a tiny bit. Here's the steel that I ordered to make the, you know, the frame or whatever. If you look how thick it is, that is three eighths of an inch. I thought I was ordering, I guess, three sixteenths. Um, I was thinking three sixteenths. I ordered three eighths. Not a huge deal. Uh, any holes I need to drill, I guess, will take a little bit longer. But the whole goal is adding weight, so it's not a big deal that the frame to put the weight on is more heavy duty anyway. So, anyways, back to it. All right, so I got my four brackets made, and if you can see, they are actually offset uh, forward or backwards to take up the thickness of the L. So all four of these, imagine this is underneath of the car. You can see how I'm gonna be able to like lay the ballast in there. Earlier, I mentioned there's plenty of room because the drive shaft is actually about five inches above um, the bottom of this, so it'll be like all the way up here, so that's fine. These are what's going to weld to the frame rails that kind of go right here. And, well, all right, let's get the weight out of the way. Under the corner of each one like this. This won't ever have more than two, well, let's say 250 pounds max. Um, so it'll be way overkill for what it is. But yeah, I'm just going to, you know, get under there, clean it up. Um, not quite video worthy, so I'll kind of just like fill you in when I get there. All right, so I'll show you where we're at. 
just welded these so they're still super hot but we have the hole in it and our four points welded and those L bars that I got are going to obviously go from this side over to the other side like I showed earlier uh, front and rear and since they're going to tuck all the way up in this corner I don't think it's worth kind of diagonaling this corner or anything since it's just a bend it's not like a welded piece um, coupled that with 250 pounds load spread across four points welded to thick metal of the chassis that's less than a hundred pounds on each one of these mounts so I think we'll be fine just running our L's redrilling I'll show you we're gonna have to redrill the holes in all of our ballast so that way you know we obviously go through with the bar where right now that obviously wouldn't work Alright, so quick update. You can kind of see how everything's coming together. Um, bolts will obviously go the other way. They're just kind of in there to hold it for the moment. But you can see how the ballast sits up in there. So the shorter, fatter ones fit. What I'm going to do here is weld a strip of the real thick 3 16 um, flat bar across here and utilize these holes that are already in it. These longer, skinnier ones make it the whole entire way so what I'm gonna do with them is probably just drill this and re-drill a hole in these uh, that'd probably be an easier option but I've been counting all the weight that I have so the long skinny ones are 175 pounds already I have 50 pounds of these ones um, the long skinny ones I think I called them long skinny the, the shorter wider ones uh, 175 ish plus 50 what's that a little 220 something plus the frame itself is so thick and heavy duty that's at least 20 maybe close to 30 pounds of steel all right so we're getting there I did the math I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video um, the car needs to come up about 250 pounds um, at a minimum and all the ballast I have, including the frame, is right around 250 pounds. But don't forget that I'm adding the diffuser and the flat floor that will purposely be built out of three quarter inch plywood. Um, so that's gonna add a bunch of weight too. So I'm probably not even gonna need to use all my ballast. I have a few more small bricks that I think are 220s right about. Um, so yeah, I, sh I should make it, it'll be, it'll be fine. And then once I get to the track, kind of see what the scales are reading if I need to add a little weight or take it out it's easy enough all right so to get you guys caught up the frame is painted you can see I put some extra holes here and there which are exactly 10 inches apart which correspond to the holes on these long skinny ones in case I need to add more they're there these holes as you saw earlier go through the you know the, the more rectangle shaped ones I have the scale out because I measured or measured weighed this it's 29 pounds um, I'm double checking all of my lead to make sure they're the same and then we need to measure the diffuser and let's take a little trip Lay this a full sheet of plywood so that way now all I can do is just kind of like add add up or keep track of the weight that I'm adding to the car like I said I need to add total about 250 maybe 300 pounds probably to be on the little bit of the safe side um, so it's just simple math from here on out all right so full sheet of plywood 67 68 pounds all right guys so here we are all buttoned up you can see i got a 33 a 31 on the driver's side on the oops on the passenger side you can see i got a few more stacked obviously because the this chassis mustang the right rear is the light corner so put a little bit more on this side should help that out but yeah it looks pretty good 
can see how nice and low it is in the car compared to everything else. And yeah, I think we're done this project. All right guys, so there we go. The ballast box, we'll call it, is done. Um, nothing too crazy in this one, but you know, a little creative way to mount your ballast in a location that, you know, isn't as detrimental. So hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, please hit that thumbs up button. Also, please consider subscribing. Our next video will be the flat floor. I'm probably gonna break up the floor and the diffuser into two separate videos. But yeah, we're gonna do the floor, diffuser, um, and then after that is Hyperfest. So thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.